Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Hide of a Burb Burb uh, an hour in the hallway that I thought I was gonna be attacked in. Uh, it's the time of year when the chill outside gradually breaks down my soul. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Eh? Uh, where's my phone? I remember looking at Daily Portal Z during breaks, so... I can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. Why did you go to chemistry? The door is open. Good! There it is! Oh, sitting right in front of the bench I worked at. Right on the bench. Sorry, were you lonely? Come, I'm talking to my phone. Okay! Never talked to my phone before. Whoa. Ah! I bumped into... Hi. Oh god. The doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? No, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone at the school in the lab. What were you doing? I left something behind. Did you see anything? Eh? I'm asking if you saw anything. What are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Very well. I ask you a favor for of you, Miss McRagle. What is it? Did you bring me the files from the prep room? The black ones on the desk. Isn't the prep... Isn't this the prep room right here? They are somewhat heavy for me. I'm sure you'll have no problem with them. Would you mind? Yes, I would mind. I very much don't want to do anything. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just do as he says. Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. Oh. Oh, great. Great. We're off to this start, aren't we? I'm now locked in this on the file cabinet or the file storage. Great. Well, I now hate the doctor even more than I thought. I'm locked in. Doctor! Doctor, let me out! What are you doing? Let me out, brute, villain, fluffy heretic! Fluffy <laughs> Okay. The building is gonna be locked soon. They didn't tell anyone I was gonna be coming here. Wait, I have my phone. Somebody help me! The doctor locked me in here. Why did he do that? There's no reason to unless he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of shutting me up, or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair! This evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair! I'm not sure I could make it out the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I... Huh? Footsteps. Coming closer. I have to hide. But there's no way to hide in here. Um... Who is it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't! Please don't... Huh? Oh, hi. Oh, hi! What are you doing in here, McFragle? School's closing already. Mr. Nanaki. I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging on the door? Yeah. That's not good. The door isn't a punching bag. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels. I'm alive! Good. <laughs> the teacher saved me. Sir, I... There's some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't come here of my own accord. The doctor... That's right, I asked her to. Eh? You did? Indeed, I am truly sorry. I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and locked her in and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in there. Who are you, Clive Wearing? Wearing? What? Is that it? Well, then... This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. The doctor said it was an accident. It might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Miss Fraggle. Mick Fraggle? It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well, then I'll head home now. Stay safe. I'll have a career plan survey tomorrow, so don't forget to fill out for paperwork. Joy. The thing I love living with. Great. What? Mick Fraggle's a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Well, she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye. Doctor? Yes? That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. What? Just kidding. Accidents like that can happen to everyone. And you remember to come, a come let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. Yes. Thank you, Professor. What? What? The teacher, too? Oh god, no. McFraggle, sir. Right top of the- okay, cool. Now I don't want to do this ending. 
I don't- I regret everything right now. So bad. Oh god. Hardwick paid off. Yippee. I don't care. <laughs> what happened? What in the hell? The sun, its majestic brilliant sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. I'm gonna live to enjoy it. Yay! Good! I nearly died. <sighs> We'll call that, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine and pray that I don't die or some shit. <sighs> a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. We should borrow some from some birdie. Go oh, buy an amulet. Ryota, save my life, please. <laughs> happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns. What are you doing? Exactly what it looks like. I'm here working today. So it looks good on you. Came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? I would like one for longevity. <laughs> Conquest, sure, why not? Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh well. I was gonna ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but sorry, dude, but maybe another time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. And so we get our fortune told, and it's probably death. Hello, McRegal. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Eww. Is it chicken? Is it chicken? Silky blessing. What does that mean again? I, I don't know what that means. Got a better one than I did. Be a good year for you, McRagle. And off we go. Away from the crazy teacher, and away from the crazy doctor. And now we're back in the hands of them both. Fuck. Hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. No, you didn't. I don't think you hibernated at all. I don't think you did. I've said this before, but junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy the time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, there's a lot of things to worry about. My teacher could have killed... Well, the doctor could have killed me, and if it weren't for the teacher who was actually... somewhat pretending to be nice. Eh. Mars Legamentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Like in teens, is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it's used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Half of beans? Yes. Is there any kind that you think is particularly good? Ah, uh, the racer blend. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What do I want to get? I think I'll buy the country melee. How, how will you pronounce that? I'll take these things. And hopefully I won't die when I... Give them to him. I'm gonna give the beans to that special some birdie. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, McFragle. What is it? Um, today's Legamentine, so I wanted to give you beans. Um. What? Um. Um. I think you tried to deny them. I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but. Ah, uh, Malay seeds. I like them very much. I've enjoyed them for a long time. They bring back good memories. Such a nice, gentle smell. <sniffs> Sir, they do smell nice, but please don't fall asleep. Are you really sure you want to give me th these to me? Yes, sir. A hunter-gatherer never goes back on her word. Thank you, then. Hmm. Why do I should give you an exchange? I'll have to think about it. You don't have to give me anything in exchange, I think. I'm glad he liked him. Me too. Hopefully he won't kill me. And that'll be my gift for Legamentines. The semester's almost over. In a few short days, I won't be a sophomore anymore. There's one thing I have left to do. There's one thing I need to do. What is that? Hello, McFragle. What is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan. Don't worry. You're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. No, sir. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. Sir, I, I like you. Is, is that all right? You do say the strangest things, McFragle. I like you too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. Listen, I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, McRagle. I'm sorry. What does that mean? You saw it, remember? Saw what? The photo. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. That was a photo of the most important bird in my life. Oh. I didn't mean to come in between... Yeah. Thought we could live through anything, just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than any birdie else in the world. But one day I looked around, and I was alone. 
Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I can never forget. Never forget our life, I promises. But I'm not sure how to say this. As I looked at the photo every day, I realized I couldn't tell anymore. Couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face, or if I felt hatred. I, I think losing someone dear is painful for everyone. After a while, I, I couldn't stand to see it anymore. So you... That's right. Even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. You see now, right? I don't want to love again. By now, the love I felt has soared, soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I, I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough so that you won't regret losing them. That's... yeah, I'm... That is too sad. You don't agree, McFragle? I love your kindness, sir, but when I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. Haha, <laughs> I wonder. By the way, there's one more thing I should tell you. Eh? That photo. It's gone now. I burned it. Eh? When you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and neither of us wanted to... Neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better. Better to put it away. So I burned it. Sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. I should remember the beauty, the beautiful face I knew, not a photo covered in scribbles. Oh. Uh, McRagel, just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it. But I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, McRagel. I'll be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little, you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. So that's... I don't like to make idle promises, but I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, McRagel. So well, let's wait until then. Yes, sir. Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here. That'll be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't know what I will feel, or what he will feel. But right now, I am truly happy. And a little creeped out that he... The, the doctor, and him, and what the fuck, I... Mm. Uh, I think the doctor is the last route I have to go down, and I'm really not looking forward to that. I'm really not looking forward to that. This is gonna get really creepy. Really, really stupid creepy. I don't, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want... I don't want, I do not want. Well, that does it for this episode of How to Full Boyfriend. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be going for the doctor's route next, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward. It's scary. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Tikaru and Shro for supporting me on Patreon this month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Punch him in the dick. Why did I miss? Did I serious? Did I miss? Happy? You don't miss a punch to the- You don't miss? It's not- not- it's not- I did not get- I don't get paid enough for this job. Honestly, if I had this kind of line of work, I would be-